Now what I need to do is select the palm and link it to my point that I created earlier. Now it's very hard for me to select the point right now. So what I will do um, is hide these objects here. I'll select the point and call it hand point right. Okay, so now I can select my palm and click on the link and I can either link it by dragging or I can press H and select it here. So I'll press link. So now I will select the IK handle for the arm and I'll link it to the dummy that I created earlier like this and then I'll select the dummy and link it to the hand controller so now when I select the hand controller and I move it I will see that I move the whole arm and if I rotate it again I would rotate the hand which is pretty much what I'm looking for good now I need to create the up vector for the arm so I go to my top view and I'll go to create helpers and choose point and create a point here now I need to give this um, a box so I also have to move it up on the z-axis like this now I'm gonna select the IK handle for the arm and I'll go to the motion panel and I'll go to pick target and select it like so now whenever I move this IK handle I'm gonna change the orientation plane of that IK handle Okay. Again, it's a good thing to save your file right now. To create the left arm, I'm going to select all these objects, like so, from the front view, and I'm going to choose to use the transform coordinate center and set it to world. So now, whenever I click on mirror, I'm going to mirror these objects with respect to the center, and I'll choose mirror axis to be X and clone selection to be copy. Everything works fine except for the hand. So I'm going to select the controller for the hand and I can rotate it manually but there is a better way. What I can do is select gimbal as the transform and I'm going to set the X value to a value of 180 degrees. So I can type in here 180 degrees and this will position the hand properly in place okay so everything is fine now I'm gonna go back to view and use the regular coordinate center now now I'm gonna zoom over the spine select the upper spine bone which I'm gonna call spine upper and I'm gonna add an edit mesh modifier to that and I'm going to select element and I'm going to scale this down like so the reason I did that is because I want this bone to be small um, in view because later on I'm going to create the neck bone which is going to be bigger and the neck bone is the one I'm going to be animating so having done this I'm going to now link the shoulder bones to these to this bone so I'm going to select this I'm going to hide the geometry and also hide the helpers and I'm going to select this one and link it over there and I'll do the same for that one okay so now I need to change the colors so I'll select these with that and give them a nice blue color and for the controller here I'll give it a light blue color like so okay I'll unhide the geometry and double click on the palm and give all these bones a blue color like so now I need to create the neck and the head bones for that I'm gonna go to my left view again I go to create bones and I'm gonna start here and finish there and right click now I don't need this last bone so I'm gonna delete it I'm gonna take this down and move it down here 
and I'm going to go to hierarchy and don't affect children and I'll adjust the position of the bones properly like so okay so now what I'm going to do is add an edit mesh modifier to the upper head bone and the reason for that is because I want to deform the shape of that bone so the first thing I will do is select these vertices and scale them up on the X axis again I'm going to select these and scale them up like so and of course I need to scale them up sideways in the front view now I'll go back to move and fit the bone inside the head now this is not really um, very important but it's nice to have the head bone having the shape of the head okay so this is what I have now now I'm gonna select the neck bone which I'm gonna call neck and I'm gonna link it to this upper controller from the spine controllers so first I'm gonna hide the geometry make sure that the neck bone is selected and click on link and go like this okay so now whenever I select the neck bone it's gonna rotate the head like so so now if I select the whole body everything is gonna move properly and there you go I'm gonna hide the mesh and if I rotate the hips I'll see that the hand stays static in place and this should not happen so I'm gonna select the hand controllers like so and I'm gonna link them to the hips control object so whenever I rotate the hips the hands are gonna rotate properly and the whole body is gonna rotate realistically now what I need to do last is link the um, up vectors for the arms so I'll select them both and I'll click on link and I'll link them to the hips again so now whenever I rotate the hips they go like this okay so now if I move this up and down it goes like this and I can of course move the feed controller like so so this is my complete human rig which can be animated very easily um, what I need to do though is make sure that I animate only the control objects so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from 3dquakers.com in our next tutorial we're gonna create a walk cycle for this rig thank you